there was a specific day that I knew I wanted to become a neuroscientist. And it was very memorable because it was the very first day of my freshman year at UC Berkeley. And I mm. happened to sign up for a freshman seminar class. Mm. And the topic that I was fascinated with was uh, the class called The Brain and Its Potential. And it was taught by a really phenomenal uh, instructor, Professor Marion Diamond. And she started telling us about the brain and how it was the most complex structure known to mankind. She opened up a box sitting on the table in front of her, and out of that hat box, she pulled a real preserved human brain. Oh, wow. Of course, all of us went, wow. <laughs> and I'd never seen a brain before. And so that was just so memorable. But what was even more memorable and what really made me want to become a neuroscientist wasn't just seeing the brain, but it was about the studies that she described that she had done in the 1960s at Berkeley that showed that if you raise rats in what she called enriched environments with lots of toys to play with, lots of other rats around, think of it like the Disney World of rat cages. Uh -huh. If you raise a rat <laughs> in the Disney World of rat cages, um, she found that the actual outer covering of the rat brain, the cortex, actually got thicker. And that was one of the very first demonstrations of adult brain plasticity, that your environment could actually change the physical anatomical structure of the brain. And I thought, I want to study that and figure out how that works. 